Look out, folks, because here comes the Raven. The following movie is rated I. Key tag going out. Thanks, Michael. Mama needs some milk. So we'll take the Raven. I wonder if I can get a dozen eggs in here, too. Maybe if I took some stuff out. Oh, it's missing that, too. I forgot about that. You got some repairs to do there, cheese out. I could probably fit the eggs with the milk, but I don't know if the eggs would survive. Wow, the battery's working. to turn the gas on. Thanks again, Mike. Go on a race. Yeah, so it looks like that certain company that reached out to me wants to send me a kit for the Hawk X. It's a big bore kit which is piston rings, jug, a ported head, a tuned pipe, a carburetor, an oil cooler, and a cam. It's a whole kit and it's supposed to be like 20, 21 horsepower, which is quite a bit of a gain on these motors, you know. I think they're only like dynoed at maybe 14. That's gonna be quite a bit. And he says that it pushes the RPM range up all the way to 12,000. Which if you own these, you know about 8,000 is about where they start falling off the way the cam is ground. So that'll be a fun winter project when I get back. I mean, that means the Hawk X is going to be faster than the KPX 250 Leaf-On. Yep, er. Because that's uh, 18, 19 horsepower. That's going to be insane. And he says they're super reliable. He's got people with five, 6,000 miles on them. No problems at all, so. I asked him about the 300 kit, and apparently the 300 kit makes the cylinder way too thin. So people are having problems with the skirt snapping off on the bottom of the cylinder. So yeah, we won't mess around with that. But I'm down here for another three weeks, roughly. yet because our fence isn't fixed of course so what do you think should we risk the dozen eggs <laughs> yeah let's do it we'll see if we can fit a gallon of milk and a dozen eggs Make sure that's tight. Hmm, do they have eggs here? Beer, milk, sport drinks. Ice. Hmm. Guess they don't have eggs. You guys don't carry eggs or do you? Do not. No. Thanks, you too. Oof. Oh my god, that guy's got some B.O. Not the one at the counter. The guy that was over by where the milk and soft drinks were. 
Yeah, see, I could have fit a, I could have fit a eggs right there. Weird, they don't carry eggs. I don't even have a key tag for my own bike. Well, we'll have to fix that, won't we? Someone lost their shorts. Yeah, that guy with the BO is the type that tries to cover it with a ton of cologne. And, and then it really, really smells bad. Pungent is a good word to describe it. Hmm. Well, it looks like this left side maybe they could put the fence for the buffaloes I think I see them way over yeah I see them way way over so they must have different sections ooh that guy's moving about 55 Got to plug in my external battery pack. Sugar sand. Not going to take me down. Nice try though. Going to a haunted ship Halloween expo thing down in Tampa. Saturday. Let's see if we can get a couple videos in. I doubt it. They get pretty upset. Tried recording a haunted house in Tennessee. And I got yelled at. I don't know if you all remember that one. My, my neighbor gave me a little banana tree. See it? Months ago. I was in a pot the whole time. I finally planted it. Because I haven't been down. Good job, Raven. Didn't even leak. Yeah, I know it's been a while, so here's two restaurant reviews for you. Breakfast! Try out the new Florida Cracker Kitchen over here by Monkey Island. The monkeys are gone, they're redoing the island. Oh, it's just like the store next to the one in Brooksville, right? Try the grande burrito. A few moments later. What's that one? The uh, Florida cracker. It's like a eggs over a potato skillet. Biscuit gravy. And what'd you get? Penhouse. Penhouse. Sausage, oh, cheese, almonds. Yeah. And I got the grande burrito. A few moments later. How was yours? It's good, like an eight out of ten. Yours? Yeah, mine was mine was probably eight and a half. It was good. It was good. I'll be back. I'll be back. Then we had to do ball joints and a universal joint on my son's Jeep. Yeah, it's always fun. Papa Willie's. Go ahead, Papa Willie. Do that buffalo shrimp wrap. That looks good. 
much, much later. Finally, took a little while, half hour, they were a little slow, but that looks pretty good. Is it? Hot? Buffalo shrimp, hot. You usually have trouble. Oh, yeah, it feels hot. Meatloaf looks pretty good. And then you got the boneless wings, right? How is it? I gotta try a bite. Good. Yeah, pretty good. So it's chicken and shrimp. The buffalo shrimp. I thought it was all shrimp. Alright, so she said she thought I said chicken, but everybody knows I said shrimp here. Those fries were cold, so I got another set of fries, and those are good. I don't think my waitress likes me. What do you think? <laughs> Other than that, what would you say? Try it again on not a Monday or Tuesday. I do want to try it again. Because I would say mine all together was probably like a four. What's yours? Is it bad? I know, there's big onions and stuff. No, there really is no taste. Oh. It's literally... So what would you rate it? My, rate, my wings were good. The fries came out hot, my fries, so... Right. All right, well... Mine might have even been a build up. I'm willing to give it another shot. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on motoshees.com. Thanks for watching.